Good morning Aries, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am here to bring you another weekly love read. I'm really excited to see what's coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week. Do keep in mind Aries, these readings are for entertainment only. So if you're finding that you're connecting and resonating, then be sure to support the channel in any way which you can by liking, sharing, subscribing, uh, dropping your comments in the comment section below, taking advantage of the new special feature button, which is the super thanks button. Uh, if you would like a personal reading, feel free to reach out. I am open to taking personals at this time. Positions are limited though, so it is a matter of first in best dress, okay, Aries? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the central energy, the energy that is connecting you and another person this week. So whoever you're thinking of dealing with or connecting to in love is who we are reading for. Okay, then we're going to take a look at your energy, the energy of your person. I will go in to clarify some of those cards if I feel called to do so. And then towards the end of this reading, Aries, we will draw an extra special oracle card for a closing message. Okay, central energy is the Gnosis. Now, I read these cards intuitively. So this will be the connecting energy. I feel... Um, I feel the Gnosis, I'm seeing a full moon. I'm seeing this as coming full circle, closure, um, completion of some sort. Maybe you're feeling like a closure is required here. Something needs to be wrapped up, closed out, cleared out, finalised. Full moons are a time of releasing as well. So there might be something here that you need to release or let go of. Maybe it's this person. Maybe it's the situation. Maybe it's a story that's been playing out. So if that sounds like if it's your story or if you're feeling those energies, Aries, then continue on. This is your reading. We're going to take a look at your energy first. We will go in to clarify some of those cards. Guys, kick back with your favourite beverage of choice. Allow yourself some 10 minutes of you time. Don't forget to hit the like button if the messages are resonating. Okay, so you've got the Hierophant in reverse. Interesting. Page of Wands. King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So you've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles, which is, you know, powerful. It's a power couple right there. So I feel like this is a matter of commitment. Okay, it's, it's looking at this connection. For some of you, there's a couple of messages coming through. With the Page of Wands, I'm feeling for you, Aries, that you're, you're getting a vision of what it is that you want for your future. You know, with the Page of Wands here, you're starting to see whether or not this person fits into your life, whether or not you can see yourself with this person. For some of you, this is with the Hierophant here um, because the Hierophant is reversed. So, so to me, there is a lack of commitment on your end. Like you might be looking at this going, I'm really excited uh, to finally let this person go because I don't see myself marrying this person. I don't see myself valuing this person. Okay, maybe we have different values. Maybe we have different belief systems. Maybe we want different things. And it's like you're turning your back on the Hierophant. You're like turning your back and you're really excited to see what the future brings. Because for some of you, this is like closure. This is closure. This is accepting it's final, it's over. And now I've got my whole future to look forward to. 
For others of you, this is a question of your future. You know, are you closing a cycle, ready to enter a new cycle with the person that you are doing life with right now? For some of you, Aries, you see this person as long-term potential. You see yourself committing to this person. Um, they make your life better. This person makes your life better. Maybe at one point you saw yourself not ever getting married, okay? Like the Hierophant reverse. This is like, no, marriage is not for me. Um, I don't see myself ever getting married again. Maybe you went through a divorce. Maybe you went through a separation and you swore to yourself that you're never going to get married again, right? Maybe that's your story. But it's like, hang on a second. I'm getting a little twinge of excitement here with the Page of Wands. I can actually see myself marrying this person. I know I never said I was ever going to get married again, but this person brings out the best in me. They are my equal. They are my other half. So it's like maybe, yeah, you want to accomplish something here with this person. Okay, so let's clarify, shall we? Because I know there's a lot of messages coming in. Look at this, Ace of Swords to clarify the Hierophant. For some of you Arians out there, I feel like you're cutting the cords. You're cutting the cord on something or someone, okay, you're detaching from someone that you don't see it's worth investing in, okay, you don't see a future with this person, so therefore you're ready to detach and let go because you know there is someone else out there for you, someone more suited to you. For others of you, there's a clearing of the air here with the Ace of Swords. There is like clarity coming in. It's like, oh yeah, I can see myself getting married now. I know I said that I wasn't going to. But hang on a second, I'm going to speak my truth and I'm going to let my person know this is this is why. This is why I said what I said. But now, in actuality, you see a future with this person. So let's clarify the Page of Wands. King of Pentacles reversed. The Chariot. So for some of you, yeah, there's a lack of commitment here and you're willing to move away or move on or move from, move on from this relationship. For others of you with the chariot, you're ready to um, bridge the gap. But it's like for others of you, the chariot is something's picking up here. Something's gaining momentum here. And I feel like it's the excitement for your future. Let's clarify the King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, it's Four of Cups sideways. So for others of you, you're excited to get out there, you know, you, there's options, you've got options here. With, with the Four of Cups sideways there, it's saying here, you're not saying that you're not interested and you're not saying you're interested, but it's a possibility. There is a possibility here of wanting to commit and having something stable, something more serious here. For others of you, the Seven of Cups is like, it's a dream. It's a dream. It's a vision that you have for yourself. Okay, and that vision that you have for yourself is, mm, I'm finally starting to see that I could definitely marry this person. I could definitely build a life with this person. 
it's kind of like you're saying um, you're open to it. You're definitely open to it. Let's have a look at your person's energy. They've got the two of pentacles reversed. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, you could be connecting with an Earth. Lots of Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Justice in reverse. Okay, yep. So for some of you, and the Nine of Wands. So for some of you, this person is someone that you are divorcing with the Justice in reverse. Okay. I see a, a legal separation here. For others of you... Um, you're dealing with someone here who is ready to go the distance. Okay, this person is ready to go the distance. They're, they're ready to make some serious plans for their future. With the Two of Pentacles in reverse tells me that this person isn't going to hang around forever. Okay, the Two of Pentacles reverse is, um, I've made up my mind. I've decided this is what I want. I'm no long I'm no nobody's option. And until you can see yourself having a future with me, then this connection is at a standstill. It's like they're they're pausing this connection, even with the eight of wands, uh, the nine of wands, sorry. This person may be putting a little bit of distance between you and them until they get more of a commitment coming in from you. They may be feeling with the justice that they're in a situation that is unfair. I feel like this person may be a little bit hurt. But they're still holding on to the hopes of a future here. So let's clarify. Spirit Angels and guys, can we clarify this Knight of Pentacles? Can we get some clarification on the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah. The Hanged Man is on the top, right? We've got the Ten of Cups and the Two of Pentacles reverse. I mean, you couldn't get more clearer than that. So this person has decided that they do care about you a lot. They do see you as someone that they want to do life with. But with the Hanged Man, they're putting it on hold right now. Okay, it's kind of like hanging in the wind. It's like hanging in the balance. This this situation is suspended right now. They're not sure where the, which way the pendulum's going to swing. Let's clarify the nine of wands. Judgment. I feel the judgment, this is a card of make or break. Okay, it's telling me uh, this is a uh, make or break. This is either going to make us or break us. Let's clarify the justice in reverse. The full reversed. Ten of swords reversed. The full reverse with the Ten of Swords reversed. The Ten of Swords reverse is something painful being released. Let's just grab one more card. Sorry, it's not clear to me, but it's like this has been painful for long enough. Healing is required here with the star card. It's like feeling unfair, feeling like you're in a situation, this person is in a situation that's not fair. They're waiting for some kind of new beginning here with you. Yeah, this person feels like they've put their heart on the line. Because the fool is Aries energy. They've put their heart on the line. Maybe for others of you, this is someone who is healing from the hurts. 
okay especially if you're going through a divorce or a separation this person is still healing disappointed that it didn't work out and is on the mend let's get a close we're getting very contradictory energy so for some of you you could be dealing with two people right now or you're in between two situations and that's just what i get Okay, closing message is the dear spirit. Bring a gentle touch. I feel like this is about understanding. So I just feel that understanding is required this week, Aries. Whether it be understanding on your end or understanding of the on the end of the person that you're connecting to. This is, to me, D energy is very feminine energy. So it's like a, a, a receiving energy. This isn't a time for uh, egoic energy or forceful energy. It's more of just bringing a gentleness into the current situation whatever your situation is right if this is a situation that's about closure then it's about okay i need to be sensitive to this um i hope i'm making myself clear mm. but that's all that's coming through aries i do hope that made sense because to me it didn't <laughs> and until next time take care